Our cities are engaged in a constant tug of war between a comfortable status quo and future urban development. Many times we don't acknowledge that we are the city. Uh, cities are not roads or buildings or metro systems. Cities are people. Public land, no trespassing. Well, then it's not public land, man. People want a life-size city. The city is our home. We can renovate it together. The question is not should we, but how. It is the great design challenge of the next 50 years. High above Medellin, we can really see how the city sprawls, not just from off the valley, but up the mountain sides. This city is a master at space management, so you have to check out where we're playing football. Right above Shibuya, the most iconic part of this city, on a roof of a shopping center. People actually don't come close to here, women don't walk alone at night, but basically it's mostly a lot of fear from the other. Crime is due to lack of opportunities, and this is giving opportunities. This is healthy, you know? Yeah. This is going to make a healthy society. Everyone thinks they cannot change anything, you know, just live your life, be quiet, just be happy. But we have so much problem. A new revolution is underway, an urban revolution. It has come to a point where we think it's not possible to let the authorities run the city by themselves. You have to sometimes ask forgiveness later rather than permission before. We want to make sure that the government sees and admires the fact that we are doing it. Then it's always the same story. They come after us and say, listen, good job. How can we help? This is the craziest bicycle infrastructure I think I've ever seen. All of that, that's the city that I want to live in.